How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Sponge 5000 and in this video we're going to determine the probability you're going to see a white Christmas this year and pretty much the definition of white Christmas is at, um, there needs to be at least one inch of snow cover on the ground on Christmas day. So we're going to take a look at several different factors that will play a pretty big role in determining if you're going to experience a white Christmas or not. And the first factor we're going to take a look at is the average Average snowfall we typically see during El Nino years and as you can clearly see much of the southern United States typically sees more snow than average during an El Nino while the northern especially the northwestern portion of the United States experiences less snowfall than usual so of course in a lot of these areas where you experience more snowfall than usual during an El Nino you should expect a higher probability of a white Christmas this includes portions of the northeast much of the southeast and it's especially prominent right around the rocky mountain ranges anywhere between colorado kansas and even extending down into new mexico that's where the um, typical snowfall is a lot higher than normal during el nino seasons of course um, um every el nino is different or every winter season is different so the snowfall anomalies won't look exactly like this and there could be the possibility or there could be that anomaly that that maybe the Rocky Mountain ranges experiences less snowfall this year than usual. That's still in the realm of possibilities, but most likely well, you're going to see more snowfall than normal in the southern and eastern portions of the United States. While for the northern Midwest and the northwestern portion, the um, chance of a white Christmas is less likely this year. At least compared to prior um, years because in many of these areas where you experience less snowfall than normal that could that could still mean a heavy amount of snowfall for most americans such as the higher elevations of montana and idaho while typically during an el nino you experience less snowfall you still experience um potentially up to 100 inches of snow or at least um close to feet of snow um even during el nino winter so even though the chance is lower um this year for a white christmas it still is relatively high in some of these areas another big pattern we need to take a look at is the pacific north american oscillation which i've been talking to you guys about in my previous winter season forecast videos and this applies to whether or not we're going to see a white christmas as well because depending on what pattern we'll um we'll see um then that will definitely increase the possibility that at least um one area of the united states would have a higher possibility of a white christmas and by the time we approach the december 25th time frame or right around christmas week we see that we're most likely going to be in a positive phase during that week it's it, um this forecast is still subject to change I'll keep you guys updated if we do see any major shifts with this forecast. However, the most likely scenario is that um, we're going to be in a positive um, PNA pattern by the time we approach the week of Christmas. And that could play a big role in terms of the temperatures as well as the amount of snowfall you experience in a given area in the, the United States. Like I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is what typically happens during a positive phase. We see that there's a strong low pressure system located right over the eastern half of the United States, which enhances the northerly flow to bring the cooler temperatures further southward. And of course, since the pressure is lower, a lot more storm systems tend to develop in this area, which means a lot more snowstorms. So if we're going to be in a positive phase during the week of Christmas, then the East Coast should certainly have a much higher possibility of a white Christmas while it's a complete opposite for the west coast where during a positive PNA pattern we see a very strong ridge dominate the west coast which means that places like the higher elevations of the pacific northwest are less likely to experience a white Christmas this year so I so I do believe that the higher probability of a white Christmas or at least the anomaly is a little bit more favorable to on the east coast having a higher probability of a white christmas at least relative to its average not necessarily um not necessarily comparing the the um, ex absolute percentage between the west coast and the um, east coast at least relatively speaking um compared to the average the probability should be higher along the eastern half of the united states Another big thing that we've been talking about over the past several videos is the drought monitor and of course it again 
applies to whether or not we're going to see a white Christmas because if it's too dry, then that would certainly limit the possibility we're going to see um, any sort of precipitation, including snowfall. And we clearly see that much, um, much of the southeast is currently under a severe drought. However, like I said in my previous videos, we're likely going to see a strong Pacific jet that's going to bring plenty of moisture in the southeast. Um, but at least for the early part of the winter, I wouldn't be surprised if this drought stays around at, as long as a Christmas time frame. But even then, um, even if there weren't a drought in areas this far south, it's very unlikely you receive any sort of snow cover for a prolonged period in the southeast. So the chance is already slim whether there's a drought or not. So I wouldn't really get too excited if this drought ends up going away in the southeast because in reality, it's very, very rare for snow cover to um, make it this far south um, exactly on the Christmas time frame without getting melted by the very warm temperatures of the southeast. So, um, so I will say that it's um, you shouldn't get too excited in the southeast when it comes to the probability of a white Christmas. However, in the areas further northward, um, you do see that there is expected to be um, there is drought conditions over portions of the Pacific Northwest. This extends into um, the Mississippi River Valley as well, right around Iowa and extending into Nebraska and Kansas as well. And I only expect the drought conditions to get worse thanks to the fact that we're in an El Nino pattern, which simply brings a lot drier than normal conditions over the Pacific Northwest. And plus, it won't help that we're going to be in a positive PNA pattern, which simply brings a strong ridge right over the Pacific Northwest. So I do expect the chance, relatively speaking, to be lower for a white Christmas in the Pacific Northwest thanks to that. And of course, another big factor we've been taking a look at um, for our Christmas forecast is a comet plot um, um division plot um comparing the strong to moderate el nino years to the long-term average between 1991 and 2020 and we clearly see much of the southeast as well as portions of the rocky mountain ranges and even extending into the west coast experiences cooler than average chapters so the chance of a white crucis is certainly higher not only because the chance of snowfall increases when the temperatures are lower, but snowfall is less likely to melt by the time we approach the Christmas time frame. So in the Northeast, the chance is certainly higher. And while I technically could say the chance is higher for the Southeast as well, again, it's still very rare for, um, for the Southeast to maintain at least one inch of snowfall for a prolonged period without getting melted and it's very rare in general for the southeast to receive snowfall so the chance that it um, um that it aligns with the christmas time frame to where you could see one inch of snow cover on christmas is very slim but i'll say it's still higher this year thanks to the fact that it will be colder than average in right around the rocky mountain ranges where you typically do receive more snowfall during an El Nino and where it's like going to be much colder than average, the chance should be higher for a white Christmas and extending right up along the West Coast as well, um, potentially into um, the higher elevations of Nevada and California. I will say the chance is slightly higher for a white Christmas and the Northeast it is certainly higher. And then for the areas in the Northern Midwest and uh, Pacific Northwest, I will say it likely, the temperatures will likely hover around average or slightly above average despite what the climate division plot is stating because I do believe that this drought we're seeing will raise the temperatures a little bit more than what the climate division plot could detect so i do expect above average temperatures so uh, white christmas is less likely in those areas so here is my complete white christmas forecast for the united states um this year so again um, what um what is defined as a white christmas is um is if you receive or at least have over one inch of snow cover on the ground or more um so in uh, um the areas in the extreme northern portions of the northeast of course that's where you should expect the highest probability of white christmas um anywhere between northern minnesota northern um, michigan and even extending into the extreme northern portions of the northeast um close to the canadian border 
I will say the chance of a white Christmas is around 90 to 100 percent. And in a lot of these areas, it would be a, a smaller chance in the even in the interior northeast where it'll be more like a 75 to 90 percent chance in the red shaded areas. However, since I do believe this winter will be more active when it comes to snowfall in the northeast, thanks to a positive PNA pattern and cooler than average temperatures, a strong El Nino brings, I do believe that the chance is certainly higher for a white Christmas this season. And then just south of that, you should expect a 75 to 90 percent chance of a white Christmas. And in areas like Minnesota and North Dakota, the chance is lower, or um, or uh, um, the chance is a little bit further northward, um, because I do believe that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for snow to move through in these areas um, where it's expected to be warmer and drier than normal this winter. However, I still do believe that the chance will mo um, be um, higher than not for at least some snowfall on the ground. Um, and, and then um, just south of that, you should expect a 60 to 75% chance of snow cover um, during um, Christmas or uh, at least white Christmas, I should say. Um, and this includes um, the bigger cities such as Buffalo, um, this is right around the Milwaukee area as well. Minneapolis is involved with that. So in those cities, you should expect a 60 to 75% chance of a white Christmas. Just south of that, you should expect a 50 to 60% chance. This includes um, bigger cities like Chicago and right around the Scranton area. And this pretty much borders um, Massachusetts, um, Boston, where Boston, I'll say it's a 50-50 shot you receive a white Christmas this year, which is above your typical probability um, since I do believe the Northeast will experience more snow this winter. Just south of that, you should expect a 40-50% chance, which is still a relatively high chance. That's right around the close to a 50% chance. Um, this includes uh, pretty much the entirety of Connecticut, um, the um, areas just south of Boston as well. Even northern New Jersey, the New York City metropolitan area, isn't that far from the 40 to 50% chance. So this year is certainly higher for uh, um, a white Christmas. This includes Cleveland and Detroit as well. So make sure to keep that in mind. You have around a 40 to 50% chance of a white Christmas this season. And then just south of that, um, in, um, this includes New York City and Philadelphia. Um, so you should expect a 25 to 40% chance. Still a low, uh, uh, lower chance, but it's definitely uh, at least a possibility of a white Christmas and definitely higher than normal because simply in New York City and Philadelphia, a chance um, in any given year is more like a 10 to 25% chance of a white Christmas. This year, I have raised a chance Thanks to the fact that I expect more snow in the Northeast. So it should hover around the 25 to 40% chance in those cities. Um, and then just south of that, you should expect a 10 to 25% chance, which is a very low chance, but the chance at least exists in the green shaded areas. This includes Washington, D.C. Um, this includes Atlantic City, Ocean City, Maryland, where the chance is a little bit higher um, in the Marvel Peninsula, um, extending into St. Louis as well, a 10 to 25% chance. Kansas City is also involved, Albuquerque. The chance of a white Christmas is higher in those areas since I do expect more snow um, right up along the Rocky Mountain ranges as well as the Northeast. And of course, just south of that, it's less than a 10% chance as, as it's very rare for um, why it isn't that rare for areas um, further south of the 10-25% chance to receive snowfall? It's very rare for it to happen right around the Christmas time frame and to happen close enough to Christmas where the temperatures will be cold enough to, um, for the snowfall not to melt. And, um, so the chance is less than a 10% chance in the southeast. So this is my winter um this is my white christmas forecast for this year so if you want an even more in detail probability of the ch of um whether or not you're go going to see a white christmas this year just make sure to comment down below and i'll do my best to give you guys a more in detail um look at your probability of a white christmas this year so make sure to comment down below if you're interested but that's it for now guys and i thank you guys for watching